Quantum computing is an emerging technology that has captured the imagination of scientists, engineers, businesses, and governments worldwide. But what exactly is quantum computing, and why is it causing such a stir? To understand the transformative potential and the current state of quantum computing in the modern world, we need to journey through some remarkable ideas in physics, computer science, and real-world problem-solving. At its core, quantum computing leverages the fundamental behaviors of nature at the tiniest scales, the peculiar realm of atoms, electrons, and the rules described by quantum mechanics. Traditional computers, including the one you might be using now, operate using bits. A bit is the smallest unit of data and can exist in one of two states, zero or one. Everything from video games to bank transactions ultimately depends on those basic binary decisions. Quantum computers, however, operate using quantum bits, or qubits. Qubits can exist not only as a zero or a one, but in a superposition, a combination of both states at the same time. This is one of the mind-bending ideas from quantum physics. Imagine flipping a coin and catching it mid-air. For a moment, it's both heads and tails. Unlike traditional bits, qubits allow quantum computers to process a vast array of possibilities at once. But the strangeness doesn't end there. Qubits can become entangled, a phenomenon where the state of one qubit is linked to the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. Change one, and the other changes instantly. This interconnectedness, a property with no parallel in classical computing, allows quantum systems to solve certain classes of problems with unparalleled speed. Why does any of this matter? The world is full of complex problems, some so difficult that even the fastest supercomputers would need thousands, even millions, of years to solve them. Consider trying to predict how a new drug will interact with a human protein, or securing our digital information against increasingly sophisticated cyber threats, or optimizing the best route for hundreds of airplanes traversing the globe and minimizing delays. Many such problems belong to a class called intractable, meaning the number of possible solutions is so vast that conventional computers run out of time and resources to find the answer. Quantum computing offers the possibility of tackling certain types of these intractable problems. Thanks to superposition, a quantum computer can, in theory, examine a multitude of possible solutions at once. Through entanglement and another quantum property called interference, the computer can steer towards the correct answer far more efficiently. That's the promise. Where are we in turning this revolutionary vision into reality? Over the past decades, theoretical physicists and computer scientists have refined the concept of the quantum computer, demonstrating, with mathematical proofs and small-scale experiments, that quantum computing could outperform classical computers in certain scenarios. Algorithms like Shor's, for breaking large numbers into their prime factors, threaten to undermine the security of the encryption systems that safeguard the world's digital communications. Grover's algorithm, another quantum breakthrough, could speed up searching unsorted databases. In the early 21st century, the challenge shifted from theory to engineering. Could we actually build a quantum computer? The catch is that quantum particles are incredibly sensitive. Any disturbance from heat, vibration, or electromagnetic noise can cause qubits to decohere or lose their quantum state. Keeping them stable requires extreme conditions, such as near absolute zero temperatures and advanced shielding. Today, researchers have created quantum processors that operate with dozens, sometimes even hundreds, of qubits. But these machines are finicky, noisy, and prone to errors. This period in quantum computing is sometimes called the noisy intermediate scale quantum, or NISQ era. While NISQ devices are too small and error prone for full scale world changing applications, they're powering an incredible wave of experimentation and discovery. Major technology companies and startups are racing to push the field forward. Tech giants like IBM, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon are investing billions of dollars in quantum hardware and cloud-based quantum computing services. Governments see quantum technology as a matter of national importance, a new frontier with immense implications, not just for science and commerce, 
but also for security and geopolitical balance. Meanwhile, academia, industry, and public institutions have formed collaborative research hubs to foster progress, share resources, and train a new generation of quantum savvy. I see engineers and scientists. So, where is quantum computing making an impact today? Early applications focus on simulated or emulated quantum devices, allowing researchers and businesses to develop software and algorithms with today's limited systems. Through hybrid quantum classical approaches, some firms are already exploring real-world problems in areas like logistics, pharma, chemistry, and finance. For instance, pharmaceutical companies are using these tools to more efficiently simulate molecules and chemical reactions. Understanding how molecules fold, bond, or interact is an inherently quantum process, and classical computers can only approximate it. Even small improvements in the accuracy or speed of these simulations could dramatically accelerate drug discovery and material science. In finance, banks and asset managers are piloting quantum approaches to optimize investment portfolios or model risk. These are classic examples of combinatorial optimization, problems with vast numbers of variables and possible combinations where even minor gains in efficiency could save billions. Quantum computing also holds promise for artificial intelligence and machine learning. Scientists hope that quantum-enhanced algorithms could speed up the training of complex models, discover new patterns in data, or tackle problems previously out of reach for AI. On the security front, quantum computing is a double-edged sword. Current cryptographic systems, like RSA, rely on the difficulty classical computers have in factoring huge numbers into primes. A sufficiently powerful quantum computer could break this encryption in minutes. This realization has prompted a quantum arms race with researchers developing new quantum-resistant algorithms, known as post-quantum cryptography, to protect our data against the computers of the future. Despite the enormous excitement, it's paramount to recognize the gulf between current capabilities and the ultimate potential of quantum computing. Achieving quantum advantage, where a quantum computer can definitively outperform any classical computer in a useful task, remains a landmark goal. We've seen some laboratory demonstrations of quantum supremacy, where specially designed quantum systems outpaced the best classical supercomputers on artificially constructed problems. But general-purpose, fault-tolerant quantum computers that would reshape industries are still years, perhaps decades, away. Yet this doesn't mean we should ignore quantum computing today. History is full of technologies that took decades from discovery to maturity. Consider the early days of digital computing, when room-sized machines were slower and less reliable than human clerks. Or think of electrification, the telephone, and the Internet. The organizations and nations that invested early reaped enormous rewards when these technologies finally came of age. This is why there's so much urgency and investment in educating a quantum workforce. Engineers, physicists, mathematicians, and computer scientists are learning new skills and developing a language that blends the counterintuitive laws of quantum mechanics with practical engineering and real-world problem-solving. As quantum hardware evolves, so too must the software, algorithms, and integration with existing IT systems. On the horizon, advances in error correction, material science, and quantum control will be crucial. Building larger quantum computers that scale up in size, fidelity, and reliability, without becoming prohibitively complex or expensive, is a massive challenge, but one that the brightest minds across the globe are tackling. In conclusion, quantum computing represents a profound technological leap rooted in the strangeness of quantum mechanics with the power to reshape industries, science, and even our notions of security. While it is still early days and headlines may sometimes exaggerate what's currently possible, the pace of research, investment, and innovation is accelerating. Forward-looking companies, institutions, and individuals are already exploring quantum's possibilities. Experimenting, building skills, and preparing for a world where quantum computing plays a pivotal role. Whether it's decoding the mysteries of nature, speeding up the complexities of global commerce, 
or safeguarding our digital lives, the revolution in quantum computing is well underway. The coming years will tell just how far and how fast we can push the boundaries of what's possible.